The following is a rebroadcast of the Newark City Schools Board of Education's most recent general monthly meeting. Don't seem to have a gavel tonight, but I think we can go ahead and proceed to call the to order of the, the Newark. There we go. Okay. Uh, Newark City School District uh, Board of Education meeting on today's date, Monday, November 5th, the day before Election Day. Uh, the time now is approximately 6.32. Mr. Anderson, would you please call roll? Mr. Blind? Present. Mr. Bybee? Present. Mr. Carr? Present. Mr. Hardin? Here. And Mrs. Nickham is absent, but we have a quorum of four. Thank you, Jeff. And now, Mr. Carr, could you please uh, lead in the invocation, please? Yes. First, we can pledge. Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Tim. Welcome. Okay. Now, next to our uh, agenda, we have resolutions and recommendation. And uh, Doug, would you like to tell us about the, the first uh, recognition here? Yep. Uh, we have a, a couple guests. Jeff, do you want to? There's really a treasurer's okay. deal. Somebody brought Jeff a check tonight, so. I I would like to uh, ask Diane from First Energy to come forward and also Judy Hardy to please step up to the microphone. Uh, what this presentation is is that uh, Ms. Hardy entered a contest of Thanks a Million that was put on by First Energy Corporation, which they were giving back prizes to their customers. And she entered the contest and was selected as an individual winner. And she personally, I don't, do you mind if I tell how much you get? She personally won $25,000, and simply because she lives in Newark City School Districts, Newark City Schools gets, is going to receive $50,000 tonight, uh, courtesy of First Energy Corporation. And they're going to present her with a $25,000 check tonight, and I, being a good treasurer, already have the $50,000 in my pocket. <laughs> okay? So, and, and I know that uh, Diane wants to say a few words, and, and please do. Very pleased to be here in Newark this evening to, congr to congratulate two winners of the First Energy Solutions Thanks a Million giveaway and to hand out $75,000 in prize money. As an Ohio-based company, First Energy Solutions is committed to helping ensure the people and businesses in this state continue to thrive. And that all starts with supporting our schools, where Ohio's future is taking shape, which is why we introduced our Thanks a Million giveaway. Through this campaign, eight Ohio businesses are receiving $50,000 each from First Energy Solutions. In addition, we are giving away $25,000 each to eight Ohio residents and $50,000 each to the residents' local school district to use for whatever program services or supplies they need most. This all totals $1 million in cash prizes. So now I would like to present a check for $25,000 to our residential winner, Judy Hardy of Newark, Ohio. And because of Judy's winning entry, I would not now like to present a check for $50,000 to her local school district, the Newark City Schools. This is Mr. Bybee, our, our Vice President. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. One other thing before we move on is that uh, Judy was kind enough to talk to me a little bit before the session, and she was from education herself. She was the assistant treasurer, right, at uh, Licking Valley with Joanne Tol Tolbert. So she's giving back to education even after she's retired. So uh, thank you very much for entering again, and, and thanks a million to everybody.
Thank you, Jeff. And, and Judy and Nancy, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you. Uh, moving along now, we'll have special reports. And uh, uh, first person that we'll hear from special reports is Giselle James, administrator at Park Excellence Academy. Uh, Giselle? Um, good evening. I um, have a little te technical difficulty. How are you doing? Wonderful. How about um, you? Just wanted to come and kind of update everybody on what's, what's going on with Park Excellence Academy. It um, looks like my PowerPoint is not working, so I have to come back up another time and give you a, give you a, um, a little show when, when I get it working. Looks like there's a cover on that. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's a cover on that. Why you're doing the distraction. It's restarting. We're trying to. Oh, okay. Oh. So I did it so it wasn't distracting. Okay. This is just a copy of our annual, that annual that the report. Oh. I'm proud and pleased to, to, to uh, <laughs> let you know that we were ready to protect you by the Ohio Department of Education. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think this is our second year in a row that we are having regular faculty. And we're doing a great job. We have a lot of good uh, things going on there. Of course, our goal, as is everybody's goal, um, is to be excellent, and that's something that we're working hard to achieve. Uh, we've had a lot of great things that are happening at our school. For those of you who don't know about Car Excellence Academy, which I'm finding out a lot of people who come to Car Excellence Academy, um, we are newer, um, there are sponsors in the city, there are sponsors, and we're the community school over on 96 Mahalo Street. We have about 145 students, and our students are in the five districts for an open enrollment school. And one of our focuses is, of course, our academics are our first focus, that health, harmony, and service. And we've done a lot of different um, projects with uh, health, or health, which you call a health-based based initiative school. We have a fresh fruits and vegetables grant that um, our students get um, fresh fruits and vegetables, um, every day as a snack to help educate them and make them aware of the nutritional needs that students have and also educate the families. We um, uh, partner with a uh, community organization, one of them is Natalie Research, um, that we together build a beautiful community garden that serves many of the families in the community. And we also have um, HINs, we have a HINs program. And we have two hens that come in in the fall and in the spring, and they lay eggs, and our students learn how the life cycle. They learn the important nutritional value of raising um, chickens and how it's easier to grab an egg than it is a bag of potato chips, and it gives you a lot more bang for your buck. They're economical, and they're much more nutritious. And we have a chef coming from, from, from the Ohio Department of Education that uh, works with our students that comes in every other week and talks about um, how to cook some really fast, easy things so that um, they know the value of nutrition. We believe it's coming not only on what you give them in a book, but what you put in their body. So that's kind of who we are. Um, a lot of the population of our school is from just many of the districts were small. Our class sizes are not more than 20. I think our uh, largest class we've had is maybe 22 or 23. Um, what more I can tell you is that 80% of our staff has a master's degree, at least one master's degree. So um, we have some highly qualified teachers. All of them are highly qualified due to the Ohio Department of Education. And um, we had a great year this year. Uh, last year, I guess, at the end of this year. We're going to have a great year this year. But um, we're most proud of our third grade math which is 94% of our students pass our OAA. And I think all of our scores were about 70% in that. Um, so if anybody has any questions, if the board has anything that you would like for me to go over or review, my PowerPoint would have said a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess the day of technology is you need a backup plan. Yes. Yeah, you probably explained it, but. Uh... Number one, where is your community garden located? It's right at our school, on 96 miles. And children are the ones that uh, maintain the plant, maintain the garden? Families. Okay. Not just children, but families. We focus on families. We have a lot of workshops. The master gardeners come in. And the, we open it to anybody in the community who would like a plot. We have what we call raised bed gardens that um, we can get a lot out of them. They're actually on the top of the ground, and then we put in the, the filler dirt. And 
um, uh, plant that one. But it is a family. We want families to partake in that. And um, they did a beautiful job. I had a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> and that's something else for fast food. What we do is we teach them how you can go to your garden. You can grab a tomato. You can grab a green pepper. Different greens that um, you can grab and eat them. And that's the best fast food you can do. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Giselle, I don't, I don't have a question. I have a comment that I want to make for you. So on this, uh, Giselle, since uh, uh, coming to PAR, has done a fantastic job of, of not only raising the uh, standard of student achievement at, at PAR, but also the communication with the district. Uh, Giselle and, and Mindy uh, Vaughn, I'll credit Mindy for uh, our side of it, uh, have really uh, worked together. And just, so Giselle, we appreciate what you're doing. Your staff's doing a great job. I have to thank New York City Schools for also doing great support because um, working together has really made a difference, I think, in the school. It's not just a single effort. It is an effort, a team effort, to, to work with the students and to find out about the community. So thank you. And for the board support, too. We love it. Giselle, my understanding of your report correctly, that your graduation rate is 84.3 percent, and that's an improvement from the previous year. Is that correct? Um, our, I'm sorry. Our your graduation life. rate? Um, our graduation rate, we're K through five, but all of our kids do very well. And one of the PowerPoints I've had is to track the kids that have come from Park Excellence to New York City Schools, and they've done well in New York City Schools, and that was all what I wanted to really highlight tonight. Um, and we have can track that, that all of our kids who passed, because last year our fifth graders did really well in the OAA, mm -hmm. and they went on to New York City Schools to do very well. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions for Giselle? Okay, very well. Uh, and moving along under special reports, uh, we'll have a construction update from, uh, from Leggett and Kingscott. Uh, Andy, do you want to give us an update? Just a quick update tonight on uh, Newark High School Phase 3, which is the Building J remodel that we're currently doing. Um, ceiling grid is complete in the classrooms and is currently going in the media center, which is the library. Uh, light fixtures are currently being installed. We started some floor prep this week to get, get ready to start installing some floors. Uh, the roof and exterior metal panels are complete, so the bulk of the, the outside work is done. Um, we are targeting a loose furnishings date, um, installation date of middle of December. So as we sit right now, we are on schedule, um, looking to turn this thing over um, right around Christmas break. So. Um, couple other things McGuffey we're working on um, our financial closeout um, it should be done here in the next couple weeks we're finalizing some late minute change orders but it looks like our savings is going to be very significant in the na in neighborhood of 950,000 to a million dollars savings in McGuffey so good project um, good contractors good team so that's kind of where we sit um, as we get you know farther down the line we'll start looking at the high school but we ex expect a significant savings there also Anybody have any questions? Where we're at? Andy, yeah. thank you very much. And uh, moving along, the next item on our agenda is a technology update. And Doug, you'd like to say a few words about it? Yeah, we have a, uh, every month uh, we're gonna put this on the agenda, just update where we're at. And uh, tonight we have Marcy Waymer and Amy Norman from the high school, two of our integration specialists at the high school. Uh, to, to update us on on what's been going on at the high school with our one-to-one uh, -one initiative and and also as we move forward to our uh, bring your own technology bring your own device uh, project so these ladies have done a good job of of leading so along with Alex appreciate it Hey, thank you for having us this evening. Uh, my name's Amy Norman and this is Marcy Waymer, and we are part of the technology team at the high school that's been put into place to help with some of the integration of the technology that's been added, um, not only for the um, students, but also for our teachers. Um, this is one aspect of what the team has been working on. So far, 
Um, it, it's a teacher tech talk page. It's for our teachers to communicate um, both ways, their requests for us, any special needs they have, and our, re our communication with them. Um, we've got video links on there. This is one of the video links that's set up kind of as an inspirational piece, <coughs> trying to inspire their interest into technology and some of the things that we're adding that they can be working on in the classrooms. Uh, we're working on a project right now where the students are now starting to build these video clips um, and integrate that into their curriculum. Um, and Marcy will talk about some of those student projects here in a minute. Um, the rest of the web page has quick links here on the side. Um, it does address the professional development for students, or excuse me, for teachers that are coming up, different tutorials where we've um, put mini clips on. If there's something simple that they can um, look up, maybe they've, we've shown it in a professional development, they forget how to do something, this is their point of reference, they can come back, and a lot of them are set up as in screen captures or the video links, um, uh, clips. Um, there are links and re resources here, professional development requests. This is where the student, or excuse me, the teacher can send something to us. Um, if they've got something they're struggling with, something they want to do in their classroom and they need our help, they can send a request to us um, through this link. Um, we've done some MacBook shortcuts. It's a little bit different than some of the PCs. Um, so it just kind of gives them refresher points. Uh, moving on down, there's um, a school point link. This is our district's website. Um, all of the teachers at the high school now have a personal home page available uh, so that the t um, students, parents, community um, can check that out, communicate that way. Um, these are um, all of our labs and different devices that they can schedule, carts with the MacBooks on it. Um, the flip cameras if they want to do that video project, um, iPads, and a couple of the rooms that are set up now as stationary computer labs so they can send their requests. And then here in the middle are different articles um, and then different um, news releases basically that we have for the teachers on that page. Recently, we have started going out into the classrooms to help the teachers integrate um, more technology into their classrooms. Alex right now is helping um, Joy Carlson with 11th grade students that just took the OGT. They are now creating videos um, to pass on to 10th grade <coughs> teachers to help them understand the benchmarks more. So the students is actually creating the lessons and recording um, vocabulary. Sue Grinrod and I are going to start working on history OGT review with vocabulary. Um, kids right now are working on a Great Depression song and it's all being um, recorded with the iPads. Um, we've done a lot with the flip um, cams. Foreign language did weather reports. Government classes did 60 seconds um, political advertisements. Um, about the um, political aspect. You have art critiques going on. Um, I went into Jill Crow's room um, and the kids actually had the iPads and were looking at artist work instead of having to look in the text or in a book because this artist did not publish anything in a book. The kids really enjoyed that. Um, Ann Miller's classroom had a presenter in the day before and I went in to help the students because a MacBook is much different than um, the computers that they usually had and I helped the kids work around the MacBooks, training things like that. Um, school Within a School has done a lot and the School Within a School does have um, the MacBooks out for them. More teachers are becoming more and more comfortable. Um, starting tomorrow, um, we're having our own tech conference at the high school in which um, we have 14 presenters, which are teachers within the high school, um, presenting on 14 different topics. Um, you have Prezi, Google Docs, Google Forms, QR codes, um, e-readers, that we are offering 30-minute professional development sessions that the teachers got to pick seven, and so we formed our own conference to get them more comfortable. Um, we're available before school, after school, um, for any teacher that needs help during um, conference time. I think Starting this job, I've logged about seven miles per day going around that high school, <laughs> helping teachers and students and stuff like that. Ladies, if you, if you could address, because you're touching a little bit on a point that uh, as a district, and particularly at the high school, 
uh, that we talked to, to our staff about last year about rate yourself on a scale of one to ten and uh, you know don't look at a person beside you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten on where you feel uh, your tech skills are and what I've noticed uh, by allowing our teachers uh, to have this freedom of, of presenting and things like that can you touch a little bit on where have our teachers since last April uh, have the fours become fives have the seven becomes eight those type of things uh, from the process we're going through I know one teacher when we first gave her this because we provided them to them in July and I created a cheat sheet and we just said you know go home just mess around with this when she came to school in August she said I'm gonna throw this thing <laughs> now she says ah I really like this a lot and now, you know, getting them comfortable, getting them more into getting integrating this into the classroom, then we have to start working with the students. I think several teachers have moved up the ladder with these. And I have to say, um, with the devices that we have this year, we got um, some professional development days, specifically from Apple. And um, Thursday and Friday, we'll have two more of those days this week. Um, the previous ones that we participated in, in the summer when we um, deployed the devices with the teachers, we had them do a survey and basically they ranked themselves on that scale. And we used those um, surveys plus the ones that were in the position of um, department head. We wanted them to become train the trainers so they're the specialists in the buildings and can help each other. And when we went around and selected the teachers, the first thing we heard was, oh, this must be the beginner's class they're the, the special ones or whatever and after the first day it was a two-day training after the first day people that were not in the training came to us and said why wasn't I selected for the training when will I get Apple training so they're very anxious um, to be part of the project now that word of mouth is coming out what other people are doing they're sharing among themselves and they want to be a big part of it on um, Thursday and Friday 40 people were selected um, for iMovie and um, iPad, uh, iMovie, I, is it iLife, iLife and a lot of teachers, I mean, we have a waiting list, waiting. Great. And, and that training is going on Thursday or Friday of this week, November yep. 8th and 9th, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Does that training last all day? Is it just an hour? Or? <laughs> all day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've been a Mac person for seven years. And when I left the training last time, I learned stuff that I didn't even know. So, yeah. And I know today was a, a waiver day that dealt with a lot of data and some things like that for our staff, but that allowed us tomorrow then to free us up into your little uh, professional development technology-wise. And so as we look at waiver days and how we're spending them and those type of things, uh, it's, uh, I think it's just awesome that our teachers are presenting to each other and, and sharing in those ideas and and I, I you know I can't say this enough I compliment Maura Horgan uh, uh, for her uh, heads up on on these type of things and putting the right people in the right positions and you guys have done a fan not just you guys the high school staff has done a fantastic job of embracing this so because the kids win and this, the kids are excited about this so it's great and the trickle down effect the students um, how are they? Uh, I imagine they're pretty excited about this. They too. want to know when they're getting their own device. Yes. <laughs> when will this yeah. be mine? And I, I would mention that we have a team going to uh, a conference or a little workshop. Oh yeah, Tim said Christmas. Christmas presents. Yeah. We we have a team going to a workshop uh, Thursday on on bringing your own technology and your own device. Uh, Amy's part of that. Marcy's staying behind with the Apple professional development. More is going. Seth's going. Uh, those type of things and and so uh, and, and as we work with with John and talk a little bit about lack and things like that uh, uh, these are huge things in our partnership uh, from a technology standpoint so uh, anyway well I'll tell you there aren't too many days that go by that I don't get a question from somebody in the community about this issue and and when are the students going to get the the MacBooks and, and how's the training? What's the status of all this? So it's it's pleasing to see that uh, that we're moving forward at a, at a good rate. They're out. Uh -huh. They're using them. Right. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? No, not from me. Thank you.
Okay. Next on the agenda, uh, scheduled communications from the floor. Uh, I particularly like this part of, the, of our meeting because it gives our public a chance to come forward to the microphone and, uh, and state what's on your mind. Do we have anybody in the audience tonight that would like to step forward and, and address the board? Yes, sir. Sir, I just have a question for the ladies of the technology update. Sure. That sure, that's fine. In reference to the teachers that's uh, having their own website, our homepage on the district website, is that something that's only available to the high school staff right now, or is that district wide? For the teachers that are opt in to you? Are you asking are the other buildings teachers having websites as well? Correct. Um, a lot of them are being encouraged to do that. Okay, that concludes our regular business portion of the meeting. Uh, we need to move now to Treasurer's recommendation. Jeff? Thank you, Dan. Uh, item 2A is approval of minutes from the Board of Education meeting on October the 8th, 2012 regular meeting. Item 2B is approval of November 2012 financial statements and payment to the vendors that you all have access to on BEAR. Item 2C is approval of 2013 permanent supplemental appropriation resolution. There's three items in that. Uh, as you can see, the $425 is a Heritage Staff Trust budget revision. Uh, the $20,000 is the new grant for the van for Walter Glazinski's class. Uh, and I forget their name of their bakery that they run, but they're the ones that provided the uh, brownies and the cookies at our, our sledgehammer. And I've got cookies some over tonight. here. Yep. Yes. And uh, item 499 is Ohio Clean Diesel School Bus Grant. Uh, that's cleaning up the old grant. And last month, we approved the acceptance of the new grant. That's a follow-up to that one. So that's your items that are changing the appropriation. Then item uh, 2D is approval to pay invoices. Uh, those are two invoices that were over three months due. Uh, the first one is for the uh, hiring, the cleaning of the E and F wings at the high school on a time and materials basis. That was missed in the basic bid. And then the other one is for $4,085.80 is to purchase bookcases and chairs for Hillview Elementary. Uh, that was missed on their project also. Uh, other than that, I would ask for the board to approve items 2A through D. So moved. Second. And Tom. Tom. Mr. Harden? Yes. Mr. Blind? Yes. Mr. Bybee? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> and the motion carries. Uh, moving now to superintendent's recommendation. Doug? Okay, under personnel. Um, item one is retirement resignations. You'll see Brandy Young, those are all her supplementals. You approved Brandy's um, resignation last month. Uh, these are her supplementals. And, and I did want to mention Barbara has that posted now at Wilson. And uh, since we're, we're carrying that technology theme on, uh, the ladies that, that you saw tonight uh, are kind of our thought with Wilson Middle School in terms of of uh, posting that position and see what kind of technology integration that we can get out of that position and with a teaching uh, uh, teaching a few classes also and so Barbara's working with John Davis to to kind of move that forward on down in, into the uh, middle schools because uh, Amy and Marcy tonight with Alex uh, you know we're doing these things we do these things at a cost neutral or cost savings uh, measure in other words we're not adding uh, staff members to integrate technology. We're using the staff that we have right now and, and integrating some things. And, and so I did want to mention that and appreciate Barbara and John's work with uh, uh, trying to start that as we, we filter that down through our, our system a little bit. Um, item, there are no, no uh, leaves under item two. 
Um, item four, all the supplemental contracts. Most of those are coaches or fine arts uh, positions. Uh, Thank you, Jeff. Uh, yeah, we do have under appointments and assignments, we do have uh, Vicki Robertson, a bus driver, on there. Item four, again, is the supplemental contracts. Item five, salary and position adjustments for three people. Uh, item six, a uh, few tutors approved at the tutor rate. Substitutes under item seven, I did want to mention that uh, Barbara Stockdale is a retired teacher coming back to sub for us. We're excited about having Barbara uh, do that. She's a good lady. Uh, Amanda Corona, who left for an opportunity this summer, uh, is back and will substitute for us along with County Parks. Uh, so all three of those ladies have been in the system before, and we welcome them back as substitutes. Uh, we also have some aides there to approve, and then under other, uh, there is no other. So I recommend the board approve items one through eight. One through eight. I'd like to have a motion, please. To so moved. Tom? Uh, in discussion on these. Okay, Jeff, you want to call roll? Mr. Blind? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Mr. Harden? Yes. Mr. Bybee? Yes. And motion carries. Okay, under item B, uh, uh, which is uh, curriculum uh, and students, uh, no tuition under item one item two special ed contracts uh, approve the special ed contracts that are listed there which are are uh, it's mandatory that we provide the special ed contracts most of those students are foster placed in in uh, other districts throughout ohio under item six the approval of the out-of-state field trips uh, we would have the eighth grade students going to washington dc march 18th through the 21st uh, we're excited about that and hopefully uh, we have some donations coming in as we've uh, spoke before about that and then the uh, French and, and Spanish students to Spain uh, Madrid Spain and, and Paris France on March 21st through the 29th items one through six their curriculum and students okay uh, I'd like to have a motion to approve items one through six so moved Her. and discussion who was the second? I didn't get the second. Second? Oh, second. And discussion? In case we don't get a chance to mention it later, I will mention that the eighth grade Washington, D.C. trip, they are accepting donations since we do not have our main funding source for a couple years. So anyone who would like to contribute, like to help, it's an important trip. It's a valuable experience for the kids. Feel free to be generous. I'm glad you said that because uh, I can tell you from experience, I've got a daughter that's a senior in college and she still remembers that trip that she took. So that's just how kind of an impression that makes on, uh, on young people at, uh, at that level. So, uh, okay. So, uh, Jeff, would you like to call? Mr. Harden? Yes. Mr. Blonde? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Mr. Bybee? Yes. And uh, that motion carries. Okay. Under item C, gifts. Uh, the first gift is a uh, yearly donation from Park National Bank of $5,000, which supports the student fund at Heritage Middle School, uh, which is put to good use, and we really appreciate that donation uh, from Park. Um, a monetary donation from the Licking County Foundation, as Jeff mentioned earlier, uh, for the purchase of uh, a van uh, for the uh, NHS Smiling with Hope Bakery program what it is which is basically uh, part of our curriculum uh, for students up there who uh, uh, are starting to do some every month they provide the board with some uh, goodies back there and and uh, so it's a unique and innovative way to present some things to kids and we're really proud of that program uh, and then of course the uh, earlier tonight the first energy and the fifty thousand dollar <coughs> check and again thank you very much for entering that contest that you really didn't know you entered and uh, we appreciate you can enter a few more of those by the way uh, so those are our, our gifts okay thank you so I'd like to have a motion to uh, to approve recommendation so moved second second okay discussion okay Jeff 
Mr. Blind? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Mr. Harden? Yes. Mr. Bybee? Yes. And under item D, business, uh, contracts, services, uh, uh, the approval of a lease agreement with the governing board of the Licking County Educational Service Center, um, which basically followed uh, a lack in the ESC, both the same 10 years. Uh, so it's just a, a little bit of a change in the years and, and uh, that's really the major change. Okay. And I'll entertain a motion <clears throat> to accept that recommendation. So moved. And second. No second. Second. In discussion? Jeff? Mr. Harden? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Mr. Blind? Yes. Mr. Bybee? Yes. And that motion carries. Under Board of Education reports, Dan, I'll turn that. Or do you want me to go through those, Dan? Yeah, if you, if you would. Mind, sure. Please. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I don't know if uh, under A, the legislative liaison, there's any report. I don't have a report. I don't have a report. Thanks. Uh, item B, intent to adopt a board policies. Uh, below, under personnel committee, uh, file 1411, file 3211, file 4211. Uh, under salt committee, file 2340, file 2623, file 262302, file 5410, file 5460. And that's it under item B. Um, adoption of the board policies would be from the SALT Committee, file 226001, which is the uh, prohibition against discrimination based on disability. Item D is approval of resolution policy re revisions. It's recommended the Board of Education adopt the following resolution. Whereas House Bill 487, part of the mid biennium budget review, repealed requirements to obtain a declaration of material assistant non assistance uh, from new employees or from entities or persons prior to doing business with or contracted contracting for services and whereas the repeal of this requirement in effect September 10th 2012 and whereas certain board policies must be modified to reflect the implementation of House Bill 487 um, now there be it resolved that the board modifies the following policies as set forth below delete policy 8120 declaration regarding material assistance non-assistance to terrorist organization and revise policies 1220 employment of the superintendent I guess I better see what that revision is before I keep going on uh, policy make a motion <laughs> policy 1310 discussion employment of the treasurer policy 1520 employment of administrators policy 3120 employment of certified staff 312004 employment of substitute teachers 312005 employment of personnel and summer school and adult education programs 312006 selecting student teachers administrative interns 312007 employment of casual resource personnel 312008 employment of personnel for co-curricular extracurricular activities policy 4120 employment of certified staff 412004 employment of substitutes 412008 employment of personnel for co-curricular extracurricular activities 6320 purchases 6440 cooperative purchasing 6450 local purchasing 6460 vendor relations i'm done <laughs> <laughs> well i can tell you there's been a lot of work done on salt committee and a lot of work done on policy revisions and more here to be thanked for that that's a lot of work as well as others that may have been involved so uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion. For I'd make that motion. Okay. Second? I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Mr. Anderson? Mr. Harden? Yes. Mr. Blind? Yes. Mr. Bybee? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. And that motion carries. Moving now to uh, item number five in our agenda for board discussion and uh, Tim, we'll go ahead and start with you and just work our way this way. Well, I'm just to encourage everybody, uh, by the time you see this, um, you won't have the opportunity to vote anymore, but I hope you did. 
Um, I'll be glad to see a Tide commercial. Um, instead of <laughs> really anything else. Um, so, but I am, um, it's a big day in, in our country. And uh, so uh, looking forward to tomorrow, see what it holds. Thank you. Tom? Uh, for those who might happen to hear this before tomorrow night, I mentioned the Washington trip. They are having a dinner tomorrow at the Commons after election from six to eight is a fundraiser. Go vote, then go enjoy dinner. A lot of people hear this afterwards. Anna, hint, hint, hint. You know, hopefully we can uh, get some folks there and raise some money. I'd like to congratulate the two cross country runners that ran in the state Saturday. Um, they ran, one just broke 16 minutes, the other one was a couple seconds over, and that's for 3.1 miles. So uh, that's moving. And I, I think it's the first time, at least that I can remember, we've had two runners make it to the state. And I think both of them did break the school record, so that's pretty impressive. I'd like to thank Phil, or Brad Philhauer and his students for being here. You know, I know this is not a real interesting way to spend your evening, but it is an important part of getting the word out to people, and we appreciate you spending the evening here with us. That'll pass. Thank you. Now, I would take the opportunity to thank the uh, individuals and organizations that donated money uh, to this district. You know, you look, and we, we collected uh, $75,000 in uh, checks this evening. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. And uh, so I would thank them, and with that, I'd pass. Okay, thank you. And, and I want to extend thanks as well. Um, you know, I've said it before. These companies in our community, they can do a lot of things with their money. And they think enough of us in the education system to give us that much money. It's, it's really, uh, it's, it's extremely well appreciated. So thank you. And Giselle, thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we really enjoyed hearing about uh, par excellence and, and the good work that you're doing there. So, so thank you for being here. And, and again, we know tomorrow's a big day. Uh, you know, I encourage everyone to familiarize yourself with the issues and, and then go vote. Uh, that's one of the, the, the freedoms that we have in this country that uh, no matter what our differences may be and how much we fuss with one another, we still have that freedom to be able to, to express our opinion. So, so thank you. Uh, Jeff? I'm thankful that I'm in Newark, Ohio. I'm thankful I live in the United States of America and I'm thankful to all the veterans that have fought wars, battles, conflicts, whatever you want to call it. To me, if they put a gun in hand and they're shooting, it's a war. And I want to thank every veteran that's out there that's listening to us, that they fought at one point in time, or if they just put a uniform on and served here in a training environment. I thank God that I live in a country that I can vote and I have the privilege to listen to all the commercials from all of our politicians <laughs> because there's a lot of countries that that they can't do that they can't speak out and we know that owe that all to our veterans and i want to know want them to know that i support them fully and if there's anything i could do for any one of them i'd be happy to do it and honored i'm going to use my time tonight to talk a little bit about who we are and what we do here in the newark city schools and and uh, you know, as we as we head into the second round of uh, grading period here, second nine weeks, you know, we step back and we we take a look at August up through November, and, and what a great start to the school year we had uh, in our district, and and we've had a lot that could could trip us up with uh, new buildings and and some things that way, and and uh, so I, I just want to want to mention how proud and and uh, uh, how appreciative I am of our community here and how they rally around the schools that Kurt brought up, uh, how much money was donated tonight. Uh, and that doesn't go into the amount of time. You, you walk in our elementary buildings and, and a lot of times you see volunteers in there working with students and, and uh, uh, retired people that don't have kids in school now, and, but they're engaged in, in, in school and, and what our school is all about and what they're doing. And so I'm, I'm really uh, proud of our, our community that way. Our parents are very supportive here and uh, you know work with us and and providing an education for their students uh, our staff is just fantastic uh, from our our bus drivers to our science teachers to our administrators to our board uh, to uh, our cooks and and cleaning our buildings are always uh, very well maintained and 
and we take a lot of pride in those things and it's important that our kids come in safe healthy environments that are clean and and uh, those type of things and so uh, as, you, uh, as you witnessed tonight with our technology report and some things that way our staff is really taking a look at how to deliver instruction to students and, and really working hard and and taking a few steps uh, in a way of, of not doing the easy thing but doing the right thing for our kids and and you have to change on what the way you're delivering uh, uh, your your instruction these days and I just get around from our fall sports and I don't really care what records where I don't care if, if our fall sport uh, won every game or, or lost every game I'm very proud of our kids because we act in a a very very mature uh, uh, way uh, manner and when we're, because that, that is that that says Newark on your uniform and whether you go to Pickerington or or Olin Tangy or you play a contest here in Newark our kids represent our school very well and I'm very proud of our coaches and of our students on uh, uh, how they achieved and in my book when uh, in the long run uh, uh, respect and an attitude and those things are a lot bigger than a win or or a, a loss uh, for, uh, for for that matter our fine arts are our uh, uh, choir had a fantastic program a couple weeks ago in the auditorium and I sit there and I look at that that talent up on stage and it's like wow uh, just fantastic uh, uh, we've got a uh, and I'm sorry I don't didn't write the exact date down but you can check our website out I know we have uh, uh, a play coming up from the drama uh, we've got as we I can't believe I'm talking about this but we have Christmas programs coming up also uh, with our students here and and uh, our, our students in, at the high school last uh, Thursday and really up uh, up through our, our school within our school uh, did a fantastic project uh, that that integrated art into social studies and in English and it was really neat to to read the students take on the projects and uh, what we're doing is you see it might not be with a MacBook but it can be with a camera or some some other way of delivering things that the kids are really appreciate uh, those type of things and then uh, some of the things that do not show up on a report card uh, are, are the energy co-op uh, with with uh, I wanted to say Brad Bird but it's Gary Baker uh, Gemma has headed that project up for us so Gemma down at the ASC has in our one of our meeting rooms has 350 coats hats gloves and and some blankets that the energy uh, co-op had collected for us uh, in a community that will be dispersed out through our schools and and little things like that the caring attitude that, that we have here and that's where I'm talking about our community steps forward uh, because it is getting cold and, and the reality is some of our kids do not have uh, coats winter coats and things like that so we are so thankful and appreciative of the support that we get uh, uh, in educating our students it's, it's awesome so I just wanted to say thank you for that Doc that's very well said thank you thank you okay uh, at this time I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn to executive session uh, we're going to adjourn to executive session for the purpose of discussions concerning the appointment or employment of personnel for the district technology. Lacken? Moved. And do I have a second? Okay. Tim? Yeah. Okay. Show that you're going to executive session at 7.20 p.m. Yes, and it is our intent to, uh, to conduct uh, business and, and to make a, a decision upon our return. Thank you. And we stand adjourned. Yep. Down the hallway to teacher's lounge down on the right. <laughs>